Oh, yeah. Um, and if you notice, I fixed them. I re-recorded this in third period, and I, I, I fixed my mess up. Um, so first step is always draw the parentheses and fill in the variable. In the worksheet we have today, if you take a look, there's a whole bunch of variables on there. It's not just x. Then we're going to create an X puzzle and we're going to place the B down here and the C up above so that we can find the two things that when they get added together make the C and when they're multiplied together they make but they make the B and when they're multiplied they make the C. We'll be trying to figure out what the signs are. The song lyrics can help with that but also really just the X puzzle does. It makes sense when you're looking at it trying to make the numbers. Solving the X puzzle and put the answers in, and then we'll check our work with a matrix. We're going to practice those steps right now with the first trinomial. So, first step, make your parentheses and put the variable in. And for this, the variable is B. I don't like using B. Mine always look like sixes when I do them too fast. And then we can make our X puzzle. The 7 is going to go in the top. The 8 is going to go in the bottom. What number, what two numbers that when I multiply them I get 7, but when I add them I get 8? 7 and 1 or 1 and 7. Doesn't really matter what order. And then we're going to check our work by multiplying those two factors. When I multiply b times b, what do I get? b squared. b squared. And b times 1 is going to just be? Mm -hmm. 7 times b is 7b. And 7 times 1 is 7. Circle the like terms and show what they would combine to be. And what all you have to do for checking, just a reminder, is we're going to look at the first term as here. The second term is our like terms, and our final term is the last box in our check. Any questions on number one before we move on? Okay, I'd like to do number two with you guys, and then I'm gonna let you free to just do some practice. First step is to do what? Parentheses. Parentheses, and then? Put the variable in, and then the X puzzle. What goes in the top? The 10. What goes in the bottom? What kind of 11? Negative 11. Yes. Okay. I want you to think back to the song lyrics. There's a plus in the back. When there's a plus in that back, back that means that the symbols are going to be the same. Down here, I have a negative. When I add two things together that are negatives, I'm going to get another negative. When I multiply two negatives, I'm going to get a positive. So what we're looking for here is two negative numbers. Negative 10, negative 4. Oops, I'm sorry. The x puzzle is to the side. Thank you for letting me know. Say that again. Negative 10, negative 1. And then I'm going to come over here and put negative 10, negative 1, and multiply the factors we found and check it. And minus 10, and minus 1. I think my box is kind of small. And I'm seeing all the same terms, so it does check. Okay, there are 26 problems on this paper. I'm going to encourage you to do, um, let's say, 18 more. Skip around. Don't do all of the ones on the first part of the page because they start off pretty easy and then they get a little bit more challenging. Try to give yourself a good amount of practice. So my expectation is that you're doing a total of 20 problems. 
your choice which ones they are. Mm -hmm.